From the beginning of mankind, man has always longed for a best friend. You have dogs, you have cats, but what if you don't like animals at all? Well, you have robots like the Aeolus 1S. This here is a brand new robot by Liju Robot. An entertainment robot that does everything you want and more. Well, kind of. Now, we've seen robots for quite some time, and I have to admit, they're getting more and more intricate in terms of what they can do. Now, this one here is no exception. It can dance, it can sing, it can even do karate. But what makes this robot any different? Well, it's got a few different functionalities, such as a built-in microphone as well as a touch sensor. Now, this here does have some drawbacks, which we'll be looking at in a little bit, but just like any other robot, it's still a work in progress. For instance, hey Alice, what's your name? Your name is a 2016 Japanese animated romantic fantasy drama film written and directed by Makoto Shinkei and produced by Comix Wave Films. I stand corrected. So this here is our box. Uh, it's actually a very nice presentable piece. You see the robot on the front kind of doing like an action pose. Uh, it says Intelligent Humanoid Robot Elos 1S. So let's go ahead and open this up. And it just kind of slides open just like this. And you can actually see the robot there. So it makes a great carrying case. You can take it wherever you want to go. Now the robot just kind of comes out just like that. So let's go ahead and put it to the side for now. Uh, and then we have ourselves an instruction manual kind of explaining you step by step how to go ahead and set it up as well as in a power adapter to go ahead and keep it charged. And that's about it in terms of what it comes with. So in terms of the robot itself goes, it's actually made out of very nice material. So it's got this plastic kind of frame around it. And then there's a lot of different servos. Now note, there is no waist movement, but he does move his legs in every direction possible. Uh, the head does not move as well, so it's stationary. You have your touch sensor here on the top of his head. You also have a speaker on the back. There's a power button back here as well. Uh, and then it does have a few different LEDs throughout the body. So you have it on the legs, the arms, the chest, even the head. Then there's a microphone down here as well. And yeah, overall it's actually, it does feel like a good amount of weight. And it does stand about 14 inches tall. So it's actually kind of short compared to some of the other robots we reviewed. But seeing how it performs should be quite interesting. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on next and see what he's all about. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So this here is the main app menu. Now you see there's an action store, a game pad, and a do-it-yourself action. Now in general terms, the action store allows you to go ahead and download different actions and kind of upload it to your robot. So you can go ahead and create your very own as well as share it among other people. So it does give you more sense that you can always go ahead and download new animations on the go. Now in terms of the game pad goes, gives you basic functionality over the robot as well as all the other functions incorporated into one. So you have a joystick here on the right which allows you to go ahead and rotate the robot. Just like that and then you can turn them the other way. Okay and then you can also make them move forward or left and right. So this is forward. So this here is like a slow walk and then if you use the right joystick and press up, this is a fast walk. You can go backwards too just as fast. And then you can go ahead and make them pivot to the left, as well as pivot to the right. So it gives you that functionality in terms of what you can do with the robot. Now besides that, on the top right you can see that there's a few different keypads. So currently we're in the soccer mode, so if I hit Y, Here is a so it'll pretend to kick a ball. So if you, even if you put a ball in front of it, it'll go ahead and kick it. So here's B. Look at this. So there's like a side kick. That's another front kick on the right foot, and then you have uh, X, so that's like a, like a block as well. And then you have these arrows on the left side, so if I hit left, so that's like a, like a dive to block a ball from going into the goal. You can do it the other way too. So he makes a great goalie, as you can probably already tell. Uh, and then if I hit up, it does a center block or a split, and then if I hit back, So it's kind of like a little pose. Now you also have a boxing mode. Uh, so these here are like punches, so here's Y. And then you can do B. You can do it the other way. Okay, and then uh, you can also do A. Uh, you can hit up. So it's like, a, like almost like a block. 
Oh! So it's like multiple attacks. So these here are just some different boxing features. Again, you can always go ahead and like, you know, use the robot in terms of movement goes and incorporate that with the, uh, the fighting aspect goes. So let's just go ahead and set this up here. So we're going to go into the show mode. Now the show mode does different kind of like dances and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and display each and every one of them just for you guys to see. That was the first time I've ever seen a robot do ballet. So there's always a first for everything. So next we're gonna go ahead and try out the voice recognition of this robot. So I have a list of series of questions in the book that we can use. So let's try this out. So let's see what the weather is like. Hi, Aos. Chicago weather. In Chicago, it's plus 76 degrees with thunderstorm. That's actually quite accurate. All right, let's try something else. Hi, Alice. Where do you come from? Okay, so it didn't want that question. Uh, let's try another one. Hi, Alice. What is Spider-Man? Spider-Man is a fictional superhero created by writer editor Stanley and writer artist Steve Ditko. He first appeared in the anthology comic book Amazing Fantasy number 15 in the Silver Age of comic books. I, I, I can't listen to this guy for more than like three words. <laughs> um, let's just try some math problems. Hi, Alice. What is 10 plus 10? 20. Ooh. Hi, Alice. What is 45 divided by 5? 9. 
Let's try a little bit more complicated. Hi, Alos. What's zero divided by zero? Dividing by zero is indeterminate. Okay, it's a little smarter than I thought. Hi, Alos. What's 45 times 6 plus 3 plus 2 minus 7 plus 8 plus 12 plus 3? 27. Damn! <laughs> Forget anything else. I'm taking this with me to class. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what the voice recognition is about. Obviously, there's still some room to improvement, and the voice itself isn't really that you know tolerable to listen to. But you know, definitely very unique and definitely very interesting. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is a do-it-yourself action. This allows us to go ahead and create our own animation. So you can go ahead and create pose adjustments, edit actions, and run actions. So this here is kind of the functionality. So you can go ahead and like add and drop different things and just kind of give it different functions. Uh, and then you can go ahead and upload it directly into the robot and do like a preview. So you can adjust the speed and play different things, etc. So it does give you an idea that in terms of STEM education and how programming works with this particular robot. All right, so now that we have an idea what this robot is capable of, it's time to put it to the test. By test, I think the best challenger for this particular robot is the Alpha 1S. Just because they're both kind of designed to do the same thing and they both have the word 1S in the same title. So let's go ahead and put these robots to the challenge and see what they're made of. All right, so for our first challenge here, we're gonna have a race between the two robots. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start from this point over here and work our way all the way across. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go! For our second challenge here, we're gonna go ahead and have a quick little soccer tournament. So we have both robots on each side and the ball in the middle. First robot to kick the ball to the other side wins. All right guys, ready, play. Okay, looks like uh, Eos has an upper hand right here. All right, so for our next competition, we're gonna have a good old fashioned push up contest. Uh, you guys ready? Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> well, clearly it looks like Alpha 1S won this round. All right, and for our final challenge here, we're gonna have a good old fashioned beat down between the two robots. Uh, you guys ready for battle? There you have it. This here is the ALS 1S. Now, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But either way, be sure to subscribe for more robot videos as well as tech videos. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.